Okay then guys, it's new CPU cooler time. This time it's from Endorphi. This is the all black version of the Farah 5. So let's get this on the test bench. Let's do some overall testing. Tell you what comes in the box. Give you some overall information. And let's see how it performs against Thermalright, Noctua as well as Arctic. Okay then, so we have got the Endorphi Farah 5 Black. It's an all black CPU cooler. It's actually their first all black cooler. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. Okay, so we get this, which will be all the accessories. Oh, it's that type of uh, cage then for AM4 and AM5. So it does have thermal paste. It comes with the clips of the fans, which I don't like. And then it comes with these brackets then. So, yeah, that's cool. That's all the accessories included. And then we get to the fan. So this is an Endorphi Fluctus 120 PWM fan. It's all black, just black. Oh, and it's got the shark, the shark type fin blades. You know, this is a 120. In terms of the overall specifications for the fan, I'll make sure to put them right here on the screen so you guys can see what it actually looks like. The fan does have a pigtail for two. And then we have the cooler. So let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so this is the cooler. It does have a top shroud on top and then there is the base plate which is tiny that is very small hmm so this i'm assuming would be something to actually compete with the arctic freezer 36 now the freezer 36 does have a base plate like this or well the cop of the base anyway it does have something similar to this where the overall size is that it's small now i did show in that video despite the overall base plate being small it didn't affect any performance now what i will say is we're going to get this on the test bench now and see how it performs it does have four heat pipes so let's see how this performs against 5900x with pbo enabled okay this is the ferro 5 from Indofi. what i'm going to do is place the mic up towards the fan and then pull away so you can't hear it at a certain distance so this is a 50 percent fan speed honestly at 50 percent it's like whisper quiet same thing but this time at a hundred percent fan speed Now, yes, you can hear it, but honestly, at a certain distance, you wouldn't hear it, especially with a side panel on. Okay then, so when it comes to testing, the overall Cinebench R23 was idle at 34, max 87, Blender Pavilion, idles 34 with a max of 86, Blender Classroom, idles 34 with a max of 85, 3D Mark CPU test, the idle 34 Celsius with a max of 76. Now, what I will tell you is the CPU I'm using is a Ryzen 9 5900X, but it has PBO enabled and the overall wattage it did draw at each test at the beginning was 194 watts but soon did drop to 174 as for clock speed because that is an indicator when it comes to cpu cooling and if you can't handle it that's where you start seeing the clock speed go down now the cpu in 
each test did start off at 4.9 but did go down to 4.2 now, yes, it's well above base clock, but and it didn't thermal throttle, but still, that's a lot of gaming performance on the table that's been taken off due to the fact that it can't handle the temperatures. Now, the hard limit on this is once it hits 85 with the, the Ryzen 9 5900X, it does start to go red, and then the temperatures do start to creep up afterwards. So, even though it did well, it still lost clock speed, and it did lose watts as well, so yeah. So look, what I'm gonna tell you is I like the overall blacked out look. Now it does look rather sleek, I do like it. When it comes to compatibility, it like I said, in, like I say in the, I'll show you in the beginning of the videos, it is compatible with the latest LGA from Intel as well as the latest AM4 and AM5 from AMD. Now I like the overall blacked out look, the installation was rather easy it's rather straightforward it does tell you the manual that's really easy but one thing that really caught me off guard is this has a six year warranty for a single tower cooler six years of warranty which is absolutely that's crazy for a single tower cooler six year warranty now what i will tell you is that the overall base of the cooler it does have a like direct cpu it's it's not an actual co-plate what it is is the the overall heat pipes are skimmed flat but they are done it's re it does really look like the arctic freezer 36 it looks really similar to the overall base plate or the base of the cpu cooler exactly the same it's rather small but it's on top of the ccds or the cpu so that's where I thought that maybe this was a clone, but it is a little bit different than the Arctic cooler, but it's very similar in other ways as well. Now, the overall fan noise, it isn't loud. It's actually running 100% by there, and I can just barely hear it, but I am up very close to it, so that will obviously, you know, you will hear it if you're really up close, but at a certain distance, trust me, you won't hear it especially with the side panel on so i look i like the overall aesthetics now i love the fact that it comes with a six-year warranty on a cpu cooler which is ridiculous that's just nuts that means you could have six or five years of no problems then if it breaks you can send it off and get it on rma or get a brand new one that's fantastic now the fluctus fans i have got more here the rgb versions which i will be doing testing with if you guys want me to test it on an air cooler then please let me know because i will use this one because it they are compatible with this the 120s are anyway now i think the bill looks really nice whether you agree that's up to you but one thing that i'm not exactly a fan of is the price this is priced over 40 pound for a single tower cooler as much as i like this cooler it's got nothing on thermal right i'm sorry but thermal right for their single tower air coolers which you can get the burst assassin or the assassin king for below 20 pound it's ridiculous so what i'm gonna do is show i will put into the overall graphs to show you guys individual coolers that i've tested with the same methods and show you which one performs the best now i'm going to tell you the burst assassin is going to be one of the tops because that cooler for the price is one of the best bang for your buck cpu coolers on the market now yes i do like the cooler the price in that's just something i don't get but they are trying to go with the premium look i understand that but oh that kind of pricing is ridiculous especially with the amount of um competition now if you want something similar i actually go for the arctic freezer 36 because it's actually cheaper it's about four to five pound cheaper so go with that one uh, i've got much more stuff coming so make sure you subscribe because i've got loads of stuff coming i've got stuff here already to do the nas i've got a monitor which is a 45 inch oled monitor from aoc i've got fans to review i've got coolers i've got loads of stuff coming out of my head it's just everywhere i've got meat ends i got oh i got loads of stuff coming so make sure you subscribe and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you this is richard from wild street tech good bye